In this clip I will derive a formula for the volume of revolution solids. So what do I mean by that? Well suppose here I have a function fx equals 1 over 1 plus x and we rotate its graph around the, about the x-axis then we get a volume v and uh, we may approximate like we did before by cylinders so we cut up, we use the rectangles which are used in the Riemann sums, we rotate those around about the x-axis and then we get Rn. Well this Rn is now the sum of uh, well n such uh, cylinders and uh, each cylinder has height delta x and uh, the cylinder is given by the area function ax and ax i star now is given by the radius of the cylinder and the, the radius of the cylinder is basically the function value in the, one of the sample points so the area function now is just a circle uh, the area of a circle so pi times fx i star squared times delta x now the volume uh, of uh, the revolution solid we get by taking the limit for n to infinity so um, if we look close at the terms within the sum rn then basically we are integrating with respect to a function pi fx squared over the interval a b so this is the volume of a revolution solid where we rotate a graph around about some axis uh, about the x-axis yeah so in this example we find the uh, uh, the volume of the revolution solid by integrating over 0 4 over pi times 1 over 1 plus x squared dx yeah so since uh, primitive is given by minus pi divided by 1 plus x we find as the integral between the integration boundary 0 4 we find minus 1 over 5 pi that's what we get if we substitute 4 minus minus pi which is the number we get by substituting 0 in this primitive so we get 4 over 5 times pi 